Have you heard the term segmentation fall or are you struggling to understand how the pointers are working? Then this is the video that we will talk about. So by the end of this episode, you will understand what is the pointer, why they are crucial for the memory performance and how to avoid common pointer bug and in general how to use the pointers efficiently in your program. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics. What is the pointer? As its core in the simple term pointers are variables that store a memory address instead of the actual value. Think of a memory as giant read of mailboxes. Each mailbox has an address and inside of them they have a value. A pointer doesn't store the value but rather the address of those mailboxes. Here is an example of C++. So we define a normal integer value but then in the pointer we save the reference to this value which is the memory address of this value. In this example is x. So the AND operator here gets the address of the x instead of getting the actual value which is in this case is 42. Pointer or PTR instead of saving 42 it saves the value something like 0x7 and you can see the rest of it here just as an example which is the location of x but if you want to access the actual value we need to use the reference pointer or a star in order to get actual value from the address so in this example if you want to print the value we can use a star ptr in the c out then you get a 42 out of but why do we use pointers why not using the regular variables all the time what's the point of this complication let's go over four key reasons that why we use pointers as a first reason it's a dynamic memory allocation or allocating memory at runtime this is one of the biggest reason that we use pointer in many cases we don't know in advance how much memory our program will use at runtime pointers allow us to create those memories on the fly and we can adjust them during the runtime suppose we want to create an array which we don't know the size because the size will be determined during the runtime with normal variable we have to specify fixed size at the compiled but with pointers we can request dynamic memory for example in the c++ code we want to ask the user what is the size of the memory that we want to allocate for the data instead of assuming what would be the maximum size that user will enter and allocate it as a normal variable we can get the size from the user and allocate that dynamic array as a pointer this pointer is basically a request that we did in order to dynamically get memory from the heap this is crucial when we are writing a program and we want flexibility out of it. like text editors browsers or even database but you need to be careful because we are manually allocated this memory we need to make sure that we are manually free this memory when we don't need it so in this example we can use this delete error basically it will delete this reference or this allocation from the memory if you forget to delete the memory or to use this line in your program you will have memory leak and it means that if your program runs continuously over the time more memory are not free and your memory usage will go to the critical situations which means that your system is slowed down or it crashes completely. The another reason to use pointers are that pointers are enabling efficient data structures. They are also the fundamental of building complex data structures like linked lists, trees or graphs or hash tables. Without pointers these structures are not possible to be implemented. Take a look into the linked list. Unlike array which stores elements into the contiguous locations, linked list stores elements anywhere in the memory and link them together using pointers. As an example here the structure in C++ shows a simple linked list. So the class node has two variables. One is the actual value and the another one is the pointer to the next node which includes the next value. This allows us to easily add and remove data without the need to shift large chunk of data in the memory unlike array. And this makes pointers critical for efficient data structure. Without them many algorithms and optimizations would not even be possible. Another reason is that pointers enable low level memory manipulation like interacting with the heart they let us directly access and manipulate memory something that is really crucial in the game development embedded systems and systems program one of the powerful example of pointers is working with memory map registers for example in the embedded system in the microcontroller a specific memory addresses corresponds to the hardware component we can use pointers to read and write from these addresses which means that in the real world we can control devices like motors or sensors so as an example of controlling hardware registers using pointers, we can have this code. The define here shows the address of LED control registers in this example. So we can have a pointer to this hardware register and then in the next line by putting the value of the one 
into this pointer we can turn on the LED which means that we directly influence the hardware register through the pointer port is a fixed address that controls the LED on the microcontroller and without the pointer we cannot directly change this value this kind of direct memory accesses are really essentials in the fields like robotics aerospace and high performance computing the next advantage is that pointers allow us to have efficient function argument for example by passing the references into the function if you want to pass the large object into the functions the most efficient way that you can do is using pointers without the pointers it means that if you have a large amount of data in your program and you want to call several functions to manipulate this data you need to pass the whole data and allocate the memory for each functions if you don't use pointers over the time program needs to have the copy of it for each function call which consumes a lot of memory in this example modify array gives an input of the array and the input whenever this function is called is the copy of the array that we have but with the pointer instead of copying these values and copying this array into the functions we can only pass the memory addresses of that value into to the function then the function can directly access the original array instead of having the copy which at the end saves more memory and saves CPU time. even though pointers are tricky to understand and complex they are essential to write fast efficient and scalable program mastering the pointers will help you definitely to be better program now we understand why we need pointers and what the pointers are let's talk about more advanced concept here called pointer arithmetic this will help us to navigate in the memory more efficiently and find the values that we want as an example of accessing arrays using pointers we have this c++ code. numbers is the array of integers here and when we assign the numbers to the pointer variable of the ptr we are pointing to the first element of the numbers through the pointer if we print out the pointer itself we can get the actual value of the first element of numbers which is 10 if we increment the pointer itself we will increment the address which was pointing to the first element now we are pointing to the next element in this case the number is 20 if we print it out we can get the second element out so since the integer is four bytes by incrementing this pointer we went four bytes ahead and we point to the next element this technique is really useful for the low level optimization instead of using the index space for loop or different loops we can use the pointer to go through the elements more efficient and it is also fast but what would be the pitfall of using the pointer arithmetic what would happen if we use the incrementation and decrementation and we go beyond the addresses of the arrays that we already allocated to the pointer in this case we get out of bound error or segmentation fault because in the case that we are going out of the index of the array we are accessing the memory part which are not belonging to your program in this example we have the pointer which points to the array and by adding the pointer arithmetic 10 times instead of the size of the array we go beyond the array and by printing out the value of the pointer we get the error the another risk is dangling pointer so the dangling pointer is the pointer which is referenced to the memory location which is already freed by the garbage collectors or or the manual memory management in this example we define the pointer we delete the pointer and we want to access to the free memory with the CR which at the end it gives us an error the next problem is the pointer mismatch the type of data that you allocate to the pointer is different from the type of the pointer that you define in your program in this case if you mix it up it can lead to the unexpected behavior for example here we define the character of the A but the pointer is integer and if we allocate this character to the integer pointer at the end when we want to get the output from the pointer we get this unexpected behavior or undefined behavior error to avoid these issues you need to make sure that you are first pointing to the correct location second you're using the correct type for your pointer okay it's enough for today until the next video good morning good afternoon and good evening bye